Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on Liz the One TV. I'm your girl, Liz the One. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for your girl. Tap that bell to be notified of my latest, greatest videos. So I was at work all yesterday and I finally got time to get around to this this morning. So if you don't know, CNN's Don Lemon and Fox News' Tucker Carlson have both been fired. So CNN, you know, they put up this cute headline like CNN and Don Lemon part ways, which is funny. And Don Lemon just flat out came out and said it, that he was fired. He left. He put up this message. I was informed this morning by my agent that I have been terminated by CNN. I am stunned. After 17 years at CNN, I would have thought someone in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. Well, I'm going to interject here because I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but when most people get fired, they, you know, listen, uh, it's just like a supervisor or somebody that just comes to tell you, hey, you're fired and they give you papers and, you know, that's in hell. Sometimes they don't even do that. Sometimes it's a phone call. Um, and they just tell you not to come back. <laughs> so that's it. So um, at least you were spared the embarrassment. But let me continue. At no time was I ever given any indication that I would not be able to continue to do the work I have loved at the network. It is clear that there are some larger issues at play. With that said, I want to thank my colleagues and the many teams I have worked with for an incredible run. They are the most talented journalists in the business. Um, and I wish them all the best. <clears throat> so with that being said, um, on the Don Lemon situation, because we're going to talk about Don Lemon first. Make sure you guys subscribe and give me a thumbs up, like the video on the way in. So um, about the Don Lemon situation, uh, there are a few possible causes, you know, possible causes one, um, they said it was because he was getting snippy, like um, with a Republican guy who was running for Congress. But this one I didn't disagree with. I mean, you're sitting up here really trying to rewrite black history in, uh, in somebody black's face. And then I guess Don Lemon said that when you have black skin, then you can tell me something about being black. Something I'm paraphrasing, something like that. But if you listen to the whole commentary, the guy was literally sitting up here trying to rewrite black history, which a lot of um, ethnic groups have been trying to do lately. I just I don't understand what the hell is going on. Um, but a lot of groups have been trying to rewrite black history lately. Um, but what I think it was, was he offended the, the his white co-host, the white women that worked with him. Um, when he came out and he said something to the effect that uh, women were in their primes in their 20s, 30s and 40s. And he told them to Google it and they were visibly offended. Um, but I also think that it's because of the extremes. You see what I'm saying? But Don Lemon is technically classified as a journalist. He is an openly gay journalist. So maybe he thought that there were some protections there from him not getting fired. But I don't when it comes to money, uh, you can get fired. But let's hop over to Fox News. So with Fox News, Tucker Carlson got fired. And with Tucker Carlson, remember Fox, well, just recently had the whole Dominion lawsuit where Fox settled out of court because they were getting sued for about $1.6 I believe. Um, they were getting sued because they lied. And I'm going to say not allegedly, but they flat out lied and said that um, there was uh, voter fraud and there were issues with Dominion's products and um, you know, it was a rigged election and they stole the election from Donald Trump, you know, and then that led to January 6th, the, the riot on um, Capitol Hill when they tried to take over government. And it, it was just a mess. So now that has led to all kinds of problems for um, Donald Trump, uh, even though he's on trial for something else coming up very shortly. I believe his trial date is the 25th, which is right around the corner. But for Tucker Carlson, um, he has been like salacious, really. Um, and a lot of people think that when you see people like Tucker Carlson and all these opinion heads on CNN, MSNBC and Fox News, that these people are journalists. But a lot of them are not journalists. A lot of them are pundits. They are political pundits. They pick a side and that's the side that they stick to. Um, and they're giving you the opinion of the party when they report to you. So really it's their opinion and they're uh, standing their ground for their um, 
for their for their political base. So um, it made me a little more left leaning on CNN and MSNBC, but it's very heavily right uh, leaning on um, Fox News. And Rupert Murdoch, who owns Fox News, allowed them to go forward with a narrative that hey, there was vote the vote like you know the election was rigged and Dominion had had enough because it's a reputable company. Um, and their job is to, you know, be accurate with the voting. Um, so remember, they didn't just use Dominion systems for the presidential elections. They used Dominion voting systems for the elections that um, that the Republican, other Republican candidates have won, like the Senate seats, the governorships, and, and, and things of that, mayor, mayorships, uh, city council positions. When those Republicans won then, it wasn't rigged. But now, all of a sudden, when it comes to a presidential vote, it's rigged. So um, I'm happy Tucker Carlson is out. Um, Don Lemon hadn't really been performing. They took his uh, late night show from him. He had not really been performing that well. Um, But, you know, we'll see where it goes from here. I just know that it's a lot going on right now. And then I heard that James Corden... um, his show got canceled allegedly from what I'm hearing. So it's a lot going on right now. I'm going to stay up to date with a lot of things. Thanks for clicking on Liz, the one TV. I'm your girl, Liz, the one, if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to donate, um, the cash app link is in the description box. Peace out.